We're going to try this because it's kind of quiet. So, good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 14. Day 14, I just took it out. This is our next color. Another Dragon Horde yarn color. So, we have this sweater so far. And down here we have... Um, these two days and then after these days I'll go to this color and then we'll move to this color it's gonna be interesting to see what comes next so I'm kind of excited for it and um, then our other one is here Let's see what we can do to open it of course, this scissor doesn't want to cut nothing. There we go. Day 14. And we have... Hmm. I don't know if it's navy. Or if it's black. It's okay, so. Could be navy, could be black. It looks navy in there, but it looks black in here, so... Either way, I'm happy. Yeah, we put it up against the shirt. It's navy. But it's a really good navy. So that'll be fun. And I got a package, y'all. Um, I got a package. It's so lovely. From a wonderful viewer and friend. Anyway, so here's um some silk merino yarn. It's the singles. And here, this one appears to be, it might be fingering, might be lace. No, it's called Family Pen Dragging. It's really pretty fall colors. And then a skein of Lace Wheat. It's Alpaca Lace by Cascade. And a mini and I think I want to save this and some of these colors and use them in that granny stripe that I make next year I think that would be fun I'm gonna, isn't that cool colors so good and then this yarn which is a full skein and it is the Ginny's Dragonfly Fibers the Ginny's Sock in the color Tishiana. And it's just gorgeous. Love, love, love it. And this one is a Knit Circus yarn, which I've never had their yarn before. That's so lovely. And it is spruced up. Um, and it is 80-20 superwash merino and nylon really squishy nice 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 and in a beautiful colorway and then this is another mini and again see just oh, that sweater is going to be so good so 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 good so Anyway, that's where we are at right now. Um, question came up. That was a good question earlier today. Um, that I thought we would talk about. And this is commercial yarns, but can also be um, indie dyed yarns. Um, dye lots matter. And not all indie dyed yarns have a dye lot, but it's it's just a batch number or a batch. Was this all dyed at the same time or was it dyed different times? And it's very difficult for an indie dyer to get exactly the same matching skeins, except maybe self-striping yarns. The indie dyers that are doing self-striping because that they're doing a very pretty exact science so they're pretty dead nuts but for just variegated yarns um, 
kind of difficult to have them be exactly exact unless they're dyed in the same pot at the same time. Um, that does not mean that dyers aren't consistent. It's just temperature is going to affect it. Humidity is going to affect it. It's just not, not an exact science. And that's the same is true for commercial dyers. Commercial dyers, when they're dyeing yarn, um, the batch is going to be affected by humidity and temperature and, you know, yarn, uh, the water quality that they're using. So um, if the water has higher mineral count or lower mineral count, that could affect it as well. Now, some commercial dyers, they're using, or some commercial yarns are made with pre-dyed fibers. And even then, those are coming from some facility that dyed the fiber and it doesn't mean that the fiber that they dyed every batch or lot of fiber they receive is the exact same shade so it's super important that you pay attention to when you're making a larger um, sweater either using the same dye lots when possible or helical knitting or alternating skeins in what other of uh, whatever format you choose to use if you want the shades to be consistent and not have lines and um, or you can be like me and you just don't care and you work with it I I like helical knitting for one really weird reason if I make a sweater out of fingering weight yarn and I start at the top um, and I I will go, wait till after the short rows, and then after the short rows, I start helical knitting three skeins. I only have my yarn, my ends at the beginning and at the end, and my and my sleeves. That's it. I don't have any other ends to weave in, so I kind of like that. It makes me happy, and then I know I don't have to worry about color variants. I've even helical knit holding double four skeins so there's two skeins here and two skeins here and helical knit them um that were from four different dyers they were all pinks but they were four different dyers if i can find a photo i'll post it here i don't really want to edit i'll try i will try um not having a computer it's not my favorite but i will try and um but yeah, you can you can do all kinds of things. You don't have to necessarily use, but just know that when you're using commercial yarns, dye lots matter. And um, when they produce it, keeping that date of production if it's available is, is super important. Anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, if you have questions that you want me to answer, you're welcome to put them down below and we'll, we'll do that. I'm probably going to bring tomorrow maybe some more favorite things because I found some stuff that I thought would be fun to talk about. So we'll do that tomorrow. Have a good day. Happy Vlogmas.